They really blackballing certain dudes. But Fabio Foreign, this rise to the top ain't organic. Why you think a lot of these bloggers keep saying this dude is the king of New York? It's bloggers and rapper journalists saying this. It's not the streets. It's dudes like academics running with, oh, he's the king of New York. It's dudes like It's Biscuit, Trophy Life, and, you know, Talk of the Town, all these platforms that I'll be watching, High 97, all these platforms. They say, oh, king of New York, the king of New York. Everybody's saying that. I'm saying to myself, who made him the king of New York? Because I don't hear nobody in the streets playing the King of New York music, riding around and whip playing it. Yeah, they might play City of Gods, because that's all over the radio. That's a big record. But is they playing his whole album? No. Is they playing Say My Name, Hello? Like, look at his views on that Hello record. You know what I'm saying? Look at his views on that. Let's keep it real, dude. Like, you saw when Bobby Smurda came home, his album went wood. They gave this dude a, a gold plaque. They gave computers went platinum. When the computers went platinum, they ain't never touched the charts when they was home. That's why I keep trying to tell people, you know, in the industry, it's so political. It's a lot of deep throat and a lot of dick sucking that to the point that they'll force feed and make you believe the illusion that these niggas is hot. And we know they not. Here's what it is. It's been real. You know? And it's not, and I'm not putting no age, it's not no ageism thing. But it's like, hip-hop coach is a youth culture. You know, if Fabio Foreman cut them braids, right? He would look like an older rapper. So you gotta keep them braids to look youthful. But dog, you 32 years old. Ain't nobody trying to hear you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like him and Bobby Schmurter it's the same. Like, nigga, y'all politically shoving, the, the industry is politically shoving these dudes down the people's throats. You are not the face of New York City. That's why when 6 9 said what he said about dogs not the king of New York, he was not lying. Summer Jam just showed you he's not the king of New York. He got a piss poor performance. Everybody has done Summer Jam. I don't care from Jay-Z to Biggie to Bad Boy to Mace to, to DMX to Ja Rule to um, Cam and Dipset to 50 and G-Unit, you know what I'm saying, to Kanye, to the game, whoever, Jeezy, whoever done Summer Jam, they got that reaction, whether it's Drake. Lil Wayne, Meek, French, whoever. Niggas got that reaction. You the last dude, you the last dude to perform on Summer Jam, homie. Like you, they gave you the, the green light to be the closing act. And the performance was piss poor. It wasn't a king of New York. When you talk about King of New York, that wasn't a King of New York performance. Fabio should have been an opening act. Because to be the closing act, the Mariano Rivera of Summer Jam, 
that wasn't no Mariano Rivera closing performance. That was a performance of an amateur, bro. Like, like I said, no stage presence at all. No stage presence at all. No type of crowd control. No type of... Nigga don't even know his verses or his records, bro. Dude had the back... Like, if you listen, he had his background vocals playing while he was performing. Every song he performed, the background vocals is on. Like, dog. You know what I'm saying? I like, let's keep it real. If Pop Smoke was alive, nobody would have cared about a Fabio Foreman. Nobody cared about Fabio Foreman when Pop was alive. Pop made Fabio Foreman hot. Every big record that Fabio's on is because of Pop Smoke. It's not because of his so-called, like, you heard what May said. I didn't want to sign Fabio. I wanted to sign JD and D. Sav. He wanted the young boys. He didn't want Fabio. Fabio was older. You got to remember, before Fabio linked up with JD and D. Sav, Fabio was rapping with Forest Side, 900 Forest Side with him, Swipey, Gio Mandana, Gino Mandana, and, and, and Eat the Connect, and it was Fabio, and they was all rapping together. And they was put, they was managed by Split Star under under the conglomerate with Busta Rhymes, and but dudes didn't go nowhere. Dudes didn't go nowhere. So what happened? Dude basically was doing rap, rock, whatever he was doing at the time, and he caught a wave linking up with JD. D Sab and Famo Banger. And they was repping that that woo. You know what I'm saying? Because them boys come from over there. They wave gang. You know what I'm saying? The hood they come from and they rapping. You know, the original wave gang, the original woos. It's Brownsville. You know what I'm saying? Because the dudes in the nine wasn't rocking with Fabio. That's why I kind of bugs me out when I see these dudes repping woo and they repping Fabio because when Fabio was rapping the same time Bobby and them, they wasn't jacking, son. They was jacking 900 far inside. They was on a, they great, they was graping. They had the great, they had the, the, the purple flags and all that. They was graping. Now he big cripping and, and all that, but I remember dudes was purple flagged out. Graping. Real tall. 800, what was it, 800, 900, 800 far side? Yeah. And from there, Mace caught on. They signed with Rich Fish, or Fabio did. JD didn't. And D Sav didn't. D Sav left the rap game. JD, you see what he doing. He he goes right in for 6 9 right now. Okay? So. With that being said, JD was supposed to be the star. He's younger than Fabio. Remember that. He's younger. Mace wanted JD. JD was supposed to be the star, not Fabio Foreman. That's why when I see this whole perform, I'm like, yo, this an older nigga. Like, this some Jay-Z shit. You know what I'm saying? Remember Jay-Z back in the days when Jay-Z, you know, like you could tell, like, Jay-Z was spending so much money with High 97 that they was like the Jay-Z radio station. That's what High 97 is for the Fabio Formers and the Bobby Smurders. Even it's the it's the Casanova effect. A little bit of Casanova. Look at what Casanova. These dudes kept pushing and shoving Casanova down through his throats. Nobody wanted, nobody was checking for Casanova and nobody cared for Casanova. But they kept shoving Casanova down our throats. And his music wasn't hitting either. You know what I'm saying? It's, people got to understand. I was listening to 21 Savage, right? Said some real shit. When it's organic, it's organic. Fabio Foreman is not organic. Bobby Schmurt is not organic. Rowdy Rebel is not organic. None of these artists, except the boys out of the Bronx, right? 
they buzz is organic. The Blickies, they buzz is organic. You know what I'm saying? The Snow Gang homies, they buzz is organic. You know what I'm saying? But the rest of these dudes, the OPs, the Dusty Low Kings, the, the, the Fabio Forens, the Bobby Smurders, the Rowdy Rebels, the Casanovas, they buzz is not organic, man. They not organic at all. They not. That's why if you watch that Hot 97 Summer Jam performance, that was the weakest closing performance ever. Fabio Foreman is not the king of New York, man. The king of New York, the streets got to say you the king of New York. The streets is like what I'm, I'm about to do a video about that. That top 200 albums list that Roller Stone did. When it's organic, it's organic. When it's force fed to us and they shoving it down our throats, that means that dog, it's a lot of payola involved. It's a lot of politics involved. It's not real. It's not real. It's a lot of dudes buying views on YouTube. They buying streams. You get what I'm saying? They buying platinum and gold plaques. And these dudes ain't really hot like that. Pop Smoke was organic as it comes. Ross Swish, they blackballing boy. Just like they blackballing the Blickies. They don't want to see him win. Bleezy, blackball. You know, it's a lot of niggas that's in the town that's coming with it. Them Bronx Drill Boys, they blackballing them, man. They don't want to let them in, man. That's why they wilding right now. They don't what it is, YouTube. What it is, YouTube? It's your boy Bullets Gotti. Um, this video right here, I'm discussing that summer jam performance that Fabio Foreman did on um, Sunday. So this is my honest. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I'm not gonna even be respectful. I'm gonna be brutally honest, respectfully. It was trash. Okay, it's a piss poor performance. Um, whole lot of political, whole lot of political, um, whole lot of dudes paying for positioning. You know what I'm saying? But that just shows you how the rap game is. Because let's keep it real, right? The streets know Dougie B. Deep things. Shy EBK. Nas EBK. K Flock. B Love. Dougie B. E Dot. That whole Bronx drill is dominating the streets right now for New York City. Not only with the murders, but it's dominating the streets of New York City right now. To the point that you can't deny them. But to me, the same way they did the folks, right, is the same thing they doing to the Bronx drill artists. They'll play two two Gs, but they won't shine a light on the Blickies, on the movement. You get what I'm saying? And it's not only the Blickies; it's a lot of artists, like. You got Bleezy, you got SPMB Bills, you got Troy the Boy, Fab Dawn, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know, Trigger Ock doing his thing, Lyrical Links, you know, um, Richard Rama, Neek Bucks. It's artists out here that's doing their things that ain't getting their flowers, you know what I'm saying? They ain't getting any flowers. Hot 97, in my opinion, is about politics and all about this fake popularity. Here is it, right? Fabio Foreman do Summer Jam, right? Let's get this clear. He does Summer Jam, right? You do Summer Jam. You come out to the Alicia Keys, City of Gods record, with the record with Kanye and all of them, right? 
But here's the thing. All right. Here's the thing. New York City. When you the headline for a show, right? Let's look at artists that either did a summer jam or just did shows in general. When you talk about headlines, when you talk about stage appeal, when you talk about carrying that crowd, like moving the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Like going all out. And then you watch five year old former performance and you see like basically you got background vocals while he's performing, playing in the background. He his background vocals was playing in the background. Let's keep it real. So that just shows you nigga don't know how to perform live. You got a bunch of ad libbing, screaming. No verses being spit. <clears throat> you got a bunch of people on stage. He brought Coyla Ray, Chloe Bailey out. Um, Rowdy Rebel. Okay, he brought him out. But it's like... As the headliner, and we talking about Summer Jam, that was a piss poor performance. I like the case Slate say, you know, Lil Baby did his thing, you know what I'm saying? Dirk did his thing, he brought Meek out. You know, Rowdy Rich did his thing. You know, I didn't see the other performers. I didn't see Benny's, I didn't see everybody else. I saw the ones that I saw. And, you know, they carried it the way they were supposed to carry it, right? Now, Fabio, you the last nigga, you the headliner. You the you the dude everybody supposedly came to see, right? But when you come out, dog, you, you came out like you like you you Frank White or you fifty or one of these rappers, right? Jay Z or whoever, right? You come out, you got the whole intro with you got Eric the jeweler putting your, your chain on your neck, your watch, your bracelet. You know what I'm saying? They put the crown on your head and then you coming out there with the, the the king of New York, Kate. Like, come on, my name. It's like a whole lot of theatrics because let's keep it real, right? Fabio Foreman, right? When you look at New York City hip hop, right? And you just look at the king of New York. When you talk about that title, the king of New York. And the dudes that I seen hold that crown. And then I watched that piss poor performance. That was a piss poor performance. For somebody that they calling, they crowning the, the undisputed king of New York. Dog, like, dog, you're not the king of New York. Let's keep it real. The streets don't give you that crown. I would call K Flop more king of New York. I call the little Bronx drill niggas more the kings of New York than you. Cause they got the streets. Niggas is riding around bumping the Bronx drill niggas more than they listening to Fabio. Yeah, they might you might hear City of Gods playing, but ain't nobody really bumping that album in they whip. Nobody really bumping that Fabio joint in they whip like crazy. Like that that performance was just shows you like dog. Like I watched it. The dog dogs had a weak reaction. Like this is the king of New York. Your reaction is that weak. You supposed to be, everybody's supposed to have came to see you. Like Cardi B, I, you know, A Boogie, others I seen did, you know, had it. They closed, like A Boogie closed out last year. You know what I'm saying? I get it. He got a fan base. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Say what you want. Son Do got, he got records. You know what I'm saying? But watching Fabio. Dog don't got that many records. You got no hits like that. No hits. No hits. Like, nigga, he did Big Drip. You know, he didn't get a big, you know, type of reaction. Not even for the Say My Name record, the Hello record. Like, his records, he didn't get no reaction. It's like, 
he was, I always say, Fabio Foreign performance at Summer Jam was an embarrassment to New York City. It's like High 97 shoved Fabio Foreign down dudes' throats. You know what I'm saying? That was political. Let's keep it real. That was political. That's political. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got to give Fabio Foreman that, that spot. When well, ain't no good and damn well, Fabio Foreman is not what the streets want to hear. The streets is not checking for Fabio. Fabio is, is 32 years old. 31, 32 years old. Right? This thing 